नमस्कार आई एम डॉक्टर अंकित पारक आई एम अ कंसल्टेंट इन पीडियाट्रिक रेस्पिरेटरी मेडिसिन एलर्जी एंड स्लीप मेडिसिन एंड चिल्ड्रेन्स चेस्ट क्लिनिक में पे सो टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट अ वेरी कॉमन कंडीशन व्हिच इन चिल्ड्रन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड एज एलर्जिक राइनाइटिस और कॉमनली नोन एज नेजल एलर्जी सो व्हाट आर द यूजुअल साइंस एंड सिम्टम्स ऑफ नेजल एलर्जी इन चिल्ड्रन so uh, nasal allergy usually presents as a cold but there are important differences from a normal cough cold which a child gets versus a nasal allergy so normal cough cold usually will last for 5 to 7 days children will have some cold some cough might have fever on the other hand nasal allergy has a few specific symptoms so there are four specific symptoms of nasal allergy so a dripping nose or a runny nose a blocked nose uh sneezing or excessive sneezing and itching in the nose these are the main features of an allergic nose so nasal itching usually is not seen in a normal cough cold which children would get with viral infections now these four features in allergic rhinitis or allergic nose would be there at most time so children will be having these these prolonged symptoms and some children can have these symptoms in a particular season uh, versus some children can have these symptoms throughout the year now allergic rhinitis is is not very commonly recognized by parents and it is thought that the child has a normal cough cold and gets a lot of cough cold medicines which does not help the child in long term Now the most important thing which we need to know is that allergic nose or allergic rhinitis impacts the child and impacts the quality of life of the child so which means if a child has a persistent nasal discharge itching the child doesn't keep well it it uh, it actually depresses the mood of the child the child cannot concentrate properly in the school the child cannot sleep well so it has a lot of impact on the quality of life now uh, we need to know that what leads to an allergic rhinitis so allergic rhinitis can be caused by either the allergens which are there in the home or the allergens which are there outside the home so inside the home the common allergens which we see would be dust mites there would be uh, a pet present in the home so it can be because of a cat or a dog which might be there in the home so this called as a pet dander it can be there because of cockroaches and it can be there because of molds inside the home so these are the common indoor allergens which uh, lead to a nasal allergy or allergic rhinitis now outside the home the most important cause of allergic nose are pollens and these pollens could be from the trees these pollens could be from grasses or small plants known as weeds so all these pollens can lead to allergic rhinitis. now it is now possible to know which particular allergen is leading to allergic rhinitis in a particular child and we can do an allergy skin test for our child to know what the allergen is now once we realize that the child has an allergic rhinitis and it is not normal cough cold normal cough cold medicines will not help now, what needs to be done is that the child needs uh, an intranasal spray and that intranasal spray will help the nose to keep well it is also important to realize that because a lot of children will have regular symptoms that the spray has to be taken regularly and not on an as needed basis and that really improves the quality of life of the child in addition if the child has symptoms throughout the year and is sensitized or is allergic to grass pollens or dust mites and there is something known as allergy prompts or allergy vaccines which is also known as sublingual immunotherapy in medical terms can be used uh, which can reduce the severity and the intensity of allergy so for more information you can log on to our website